Joe Juravicious. And on a possession in which they had looked relatively inept, almost gave up an intercepted pass for a touchdown, suddenly he hooks up with Juravicious for a huge play, and the Nittany Lions have it first down at the Northwestern 32-yard line. One of the strengths of Northwestern last year were their defensive backs. They graduated three of the four, and Barnes on that play was beaten. He is a first-time starter this year. Enos and Harris lined up in the backfield. That play went for 51 yards. One of the big plays of the season. Richardson hit behind the line of scrimmage. And pouring in, number 36 is on top, but it is, and I'm waiting for him to get uncovered, number 95, who's on the bottom. That is Matt Rice, a defensive tackle. Wally Richardson, senior, number 14. You can see seven interceptions versus the four touchdowns. And the backs and receivers, Chile's starting lineup, includes Curtis Enos now. He's had some time to get rid of some of the nicks and bruises. Says he's ready to have a day. So the sack brings the ball all the way back to the 42-yard line. The loss of 10. Richardson has time. Throws to the sidelines. Pass complete to Joe Nastasi. But it's a yard short of where the possession started. So they'll be looking at third and about 11 or so. The offensive front, John Blick, is in there at a starting tackle position, 336-pound freshman. True freshman. And injuries opened the door for him to get a start. Pat Fitzgerald, the linebacker there for Northwestern, the young man who led them a year ago on defense, and he's coming off a broken leg, and he still leads the team in tackles, so he's playing with abandon again. Richardson back, looking around, gets away from the pressure, throws the pass to Enos. He's short of the first down. Anyway, the senior from Lilburn, Georgia, will try from 45 yards. It's a low, skittering thing that may have been touched along the line of the 27-yard line, and the ball is fumbled off the snap by Snur. He succeeded Rob Johnson, who was a four-year starter there, and uh, nobody knew that he was going to do the kind of a job he's done. He has been terrific. Uh, Pilardi anchors the uh, linebacking core for Penn State, and uh, he had his first touchdown. He came off an interception last week in the game against Indiana. Penalty flag is in the air as Smith throws, and it's intercepted by Kim Herring on the ricochet. The ball was I saw the flag flutter right up in front of you, and that's the call. So, see the snow. There it is. Kim Herring is the man who had the interception but lost it because of the offside. Good player. Punt returner does all kinds of things. Very steady. Chino Prater is starting today instead of Brian Miller because Miller is out with a pulled hamstring. It's strange, too, that Penn State is the least penalized team in the Big Ten. And an early yeah. offside. And Darnell Autry now is the single back. He's yet to carry the ball today, but he might very well get it right here. There he goes, looking for a priest over the left side and finds one. Just keeps all back. He's got it again. And this time, the secondary people come up from <laughs> the 41-yard line. Darnell Autry, the single back, has the ball looking in the middle and picks up another first down last week. Here they come. And the blitz is on. The pass is away, and it's batted back in his face by Matt Cornetto. Her can't get away. Number 91, Chris Snyder, is the man that made the play possible for Brandon Noble to make the tackle. Take a look from behind the offense. Go ahead and run it. Take a look at the protection. Go ahead and run the play. Jab it at 61 from the left side. The penetration that, that many guys at the line of scrimmage. Third and 11. This is Chafee Fields coming around with it. Coming from a slot position in J.P. Fields. Double tight end alignment out there right now. Except one of them flexed outside now. He started out as a tight end. That's pure efficient. 
over the middle, making the catch and going down inside. This is Enos. Stiff arm broke him loose. Touchdown. Defense. There's uh, 26 is Nelson. He broke the tackle of uh, Gardner. That's the day B who tried to push him out. 17 is Barnes, and you just can't push him down. Barnes number 50. Uh, Gardner 55 is the first one that has a shot at him. Then Nelson, the free safety, gets the stiff arm. Ismaili number three is going to come and try to push him out. Nice blocking downfield by the wide receivers for Penn State. It's playing well, the whole team feels. Is Maley from the four. Fumble. Penn State. Anthony Cleary covered it. A wicked hit. Ball comes out. Lines first down at Northwestern's 19. It's Bailey, number three, made a lot of big plays for this Northwestern team. That's Herring, the other number three that knocks the ball loose on a great tackle. Northwestern last, last year made their living on turnovers. So far today, they're uh, on that left side. Enos. Inside. Enos down to the two. One time they tried, what, eight times against Michigan. He goes over the top. That's got to be a touchdown, Penn State. Aaron Harris is listed as a fullback. Goes over the top. And by the time Gardner hits him, he's in the end. He is the single back. And he has the ball. And he's down. Lockley is caught behind the line of swimming. Here with time. Goes down the middle with it. Hits his man at the 30 yard line. It's fine. They go back to Autry. And they get him behind the line of scrimmage. Number 43. Has... Penn State dropping people back now. They have to go short with it. Give it to Darnell Autry. He comes back into the middle of the field. Back into the. And here it is. Plenty of air, plenty of length. It's good. And so those few yards that Darnell Autry picked up. Just enough to give going. I saw some of that skating the other night. Pete. That was uh, that was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the ball thrown out to Enos, trying to set up a little screen action for him on the sideline. Into the ball game in the backfield. It's second and ten. It's Harris. Six. From the 37. Richardson play action has time throws. Man is wide open. Juravicius is loose. And on his way for a touchdown. It was the cutback that made it work. Got a little traffic for the pursuers and goes 63 yards. Consecutive points. Jurevicius against Conaway, the backup corner. He just runs a curl, makes the catch. He's 6'5. That's poor tackling. He breaks it. This is what Penn State has not been doing, and that is making big plays. He's averaging 43 yards on three catches. Darnell Autry pops it up the middle. Second down and eight. Goes to Adrian Autry, trying to get around the corner and can't do it. They trail 21 to 3. Schnur back. All day to throw. Throw by. Intercepted by Herring. And 
Kim Herring has his second interception of the day, but this one will count. The other one didn't because of an offside. Offensive backs, and right here, the man in the deep area is Herring. Watches the two guys jam the receivers to mess up the routes. He throws the ball out there anyway, and Herring sees it all the way. And it's a nice play by the defense, and Herring is there to uh, pick off the interception. So the Lions take over. First down at the 37-yard line. Campbell is the man in motion, and the ball is handed to Curtis Enos. 46-yard attempt. And he's got it. So Brett Conway hits a three-pointer from 46 yards. Three of eight. Give it to Autry. Darnell back in there after damaging that. Autry again. This is his 13th carry in the ball. Schnurr has the ball batted loose. It's a free ball. It's picked up by Penn State. Matt Fornato had it. Never could get his legs under him. Never could really get the train. Blocked. Penn State defensive line putting a lot of pressure on him. Linebacker blitz up inside. Collins causes the fumble. It's another turnover. Play. Penn State on a blitz. Filardi's coming inside, but it's Collins that's going to come unblocked and gets the free shot on Schnurr. Richardson throws to the corner at the end zone. In for the 22, so make it a third and 13 for the Lions. Pressure coming, Richardson hit, throws the ball, bounces in front of the intended receiver. High and long enough, and right down the highway. 27 to 3, Northwestern. And bingo. From him. Nurr still can't find anybody to throw. He got away from Brandon Noble on the first hit, came back right to him, and Noble finally said, Aha! The aggressiveness of the defensive line for Penn State. They have seven tackles for loss before this play. That's Noble. Now he gets away from Noble, has time to throw. The coverage is good downfield, nobody to throw it to. Noble gets up and knocks him down. That Schnurr has time. Pass down the middle. Musso makes the catch. First down for the Wildcats. All the way out to the 47 yard. Slow down, Austin. That's thrown underneath. And it is in the Wally rolls it out. Richardson throws the dart to Joe Nastassi. And he makes the catch. And Penn State will take it to the clubhouse. Leading 27 to 3 over the Northwestern Wildcats. Darnell Autry, he's playing with a sore shoulder. Seven. Let's see if they choose to throw it. Yep. Now oh, the pressure comes. And down goes Schnurr. The pressure was Jim Nelson, number four. And it's the fourth sack by Penn State. Autry couldn't get him. Go oh, on third and 17. Her back again, hands it on the way back to Darnell Autry. And he is caught load in front of him. And Wally Richardson calling the signal, hands the ball to Enos. And Enos, he the power. Campbell in motion. Enos with the ball. They'd have a good shot at it. Curtis Enos. Oh, he's running. Richardson's pass is. Wind whipping it makes it look like a typhoon. Darnell Autry's in trouble. And taken down to a wall. Schnurr's in trouble. He's down at about the five yard line. The ball came loose. Chris Snyder was roaring in on him at 250 pounds. When they're letting the defensive lineman come. Watch as they let him come. And the, and the tight end number two in the background there he was trying to get a screen 39 off. 39-yard line. I never played. 
Yeah, uh huh. It's Enos. Third down and two. They give it to the big man. He bucket. And he's caught from behind by who? Apa. It's a little blitz. Nelson, 26, is going to have a shot at him right here. That's, that's just poor tackling. And Ismaili is the, the, the one returning starter from that secondary. Actually, he and Kyle are on <coughs> first and goal for Penn State from the seven. Richardson in a snowstorm throws to the corner of the end zone, and it's touchdown. Joe Nestesi. Top left of your screen, Nestesi in the snow. Can't see his feet. The official, I don't know if the official was blocked out or not. You, it's, doesn't matter, it's in the book. It's a winter wonderland here, and uh, it's not Cinderella. I think Cinderella has uh, gone back to Northwestern. That, she's back in her blue jeans. It's 34 to 3. First down to Bart, Washington State. Ball is handed off up the middle to Darnell Autry, and he keeps shaking off tacklers and runs all the way out to the... He's completed one pass in his last eight attempts. And the snow abates for the moment. Grass has turned white, though. That's Darnell Autry trying to come back into the middle, and he does. He lost some of his momentum. That little quick arm action, the flick. Bates coming across the middle, makes the catch, and gets the first down. The shoulder curtain. Murray is taken down by Brandon Noble. It's Noble. Intercepted on the ricochet by Sean Lee. Penn State will take over the ball. And play guy. Bates is just going to go and square in across the middle of the field. Herring number three was looking for him. He forced the ball to him. It was batted in the air. And Lee comes up with his third interception on the year. And the fourth turnover of the game. <laughs> yes, I, I could identify with that. Third down and eight. This is Curtis Enos. Pops it over the left side. Still pump it away. Penn State comes up first and ten from the 44-yard line. They give it to Chris Eberle, who's in it. Richardson lets it go, and it is well over the head. Instead of Kenya, it's Pitcher. That's pretty good. On a cold, snowy night. Musso back inside the 10. Trying to get away, and then can't quite pull it off. Batted down at the line of scrimmage. I think it's Fornadel. Old Matt's had himself a pretty good football game. Second down and six. Snur steps away from the pressure and throws underneath. It's bobbled for the moment by Darnell Autry. Uh, probably uh, Butter Pecan. Okay. <laughs> then I'll bet uh, Wayne Bates has it. Wayne Bates will score a touchdown. There are no flags. Well, that's what they've been looking for the big play from Dwayne Bates. 78 yards on the play. Going for two for Raji Leary in the backfield for Northwestern. Schnur throws it into the end zone. Catch made by Bates. No, it isn't. No, it isn't made. No, it's no, no. slapped they down. They come out here today. They've got 34 on the board right now. Enos just passed 150 yards. It's third and six. It's first down as Enos makes the first to check out. I believe it's a four-way tie. Michigan gets the advantage. It's Enos. Richardson throws. It's intercepted. Going the other way as Josh Barnes. That's Darnell Autry. Trying for the first down. 
Wagner throws, and it's up. 9-11 to play in the ball game. As Northwestern on fourth and one gets the first down. That snap throw to the sidelines will that be going to be a catch? Pressure coming. Nelson just level Schnur. Whoa, my goodness. Blitz. Jerry Sandusky. Nelson Watch. is 44. 44. Right there. Ooh. And right in the chest. Passes away. And it is intercepted by Kim Herring. to the 31. The top of your screen, number three, sliding back, top of your screen. This gets hit, and he throws that bar. I think he was throwing the news, though. Harry is an outstanding free safety key. It's about a conference, though. It's, uh, it's tough to win them all. There's the long pass downfield. Over the head. Uh, What's Christian. open is the deep pass. This is Enos. And so it's her and Steve drops the throw. Steps up. And he's across the line of scrimmage. And Nelson lays a lick on him. And the pass should have been intercepted by Sheen O'Quaid. That's Darnell Autry. Darnell Autry have it trying to pop him. And you're in this circumstance, you really don't have any choice. And of course, Penn State guys are out there just hitting. Ball comes back to the 41 yard, 40 yard line. They throw it underneath Autry. He gets away from one, but can't get away from the rest of them. It's Jim Nelson, who has been planting people all night. He has been all over the place, hasn't he? He's the Northwestern Wildcats. Pressure coming, and he throws it down the middle. It was intended for Waterman. Couldn't get it to him. And Steve Schnur stepped off the ground by Jim Nelson. I don't know how many times tonight Nelson has put him down, but uh, if you look very closely, you can see 44 on Steve Schnur's jersey. Uh-huh. For Penn State. Ball is handed off to Anthony Cleary. Bunch away. Spinning tail dragger, and they let it go, and it's going to be a very nice bounce for Penn State. Is yeah. that uh, Schnur is still in the ball game? Keith. He's taking a beating most of the day. It doesn't make any difference whether they score or not. Schnur gets it away. The pass is completed. Caught touchdown would make the Wildcats feel a little better. Good fun, probably. And Bobbled and bounced and bounced, mm -hmm. and we're ready to play a good ball game. Schnur, no pressure, they're all dropping, and the ball is dropped. It is incomplete, the game is over. Penn State defeats Northwestern 34 to 9. Now stay tuned. The top six teams. Ohio State sitting up there all by themselves in the catbird seat.